This is Simona Rich, and here I'm talking about the seven chakra stages to manifest ideas into matter. At a spirituality seminar I attended in London a few weeks ago, there was a great creativity speaker, Eleanor O'Rourke. She explained the idea birthing process in a way I never heard before. It's perfect for mind body spirit integration and progressing in life. And it's a process that can also help to find reasons of not being able to manifest ideas into matter. I personally think this idea birthing method came from Hinduism because it's a process based on chakras. So I'm going to share the knowledge I got through Eleanor O'Rourke, Deepak Chopra, who also talked about it, and my own understanding of chakras. Here's how the idea travels down your chakras and what may block it from finally manifesting into matter. Cosmic information descends through chakras. When an idea reaches you, it firstly descends into your crown chakra. Crown chakra connects you with life intelligence, with cosmic intelligence. If you're open to new ideas, all kinds of ideas will reach you in words and images through your crown chakra. You perceive these images and words when they finally descend into your third eye chakra. It's the center of insight. And here you start integrating and processing ideas that reach you through the crown chakra. You decide here which ideas resonate with you and which you wouldn't act on. When this chakra is blocked, you feel doubtful about the idea and don't trust that it can manifest. If the idea successfully descends through the third eye chakra to the throat chakra, you start talking about it or you feel the need to talk about it. That's where most ideas get killed because when we start talking about them, we're frequently met with discouraging remarks and so the idea dies. So when you start feeling the need to talk about it, do so in your own company for the idea to be protected from dissipating by others' disbelief. If the idea successfully descends into the heart chakra, you start recognizing if the idea feels right for you or not. Questions arise such as these. Do I love the idea? Am I passionate about it? which help to determine whether you want to proceed with making an idea your reality or not. If the idea reaches the solar plexus chakra, you start taking action to make it real. If this chakra is open, you use your willpower to make the idea your reality and feel certain that it will manifest. If this chakra is blocked, you feel powerless and frustrated and have no willpower to manifest it. This chakra gets blocked when people violated our personal power, like being raped or by believing in discouraging remarks about us. If we feel shameful about some aspect of our lives or who we are, this also means that the solar plexus chakra is blocked. Shame may come from being violated in some way as a child. People who hide behind projects at work and cannot become leaders have this chakra blocked too. Next, the idea descends into the sacral chakra. When the idea reaches there, more egoistic questions come to the surface. Do I have enough money to make this idea a reality? How would I benefit from it? When this chakra is blocked, Cosmic ideas can't manifest. With this chakra blocked, women sometimes have miscarriages and abortion. It's the chakra of human creativity, and it determines whether you're ready to dress the cosmic idea in physical clothes. This chakra denotes the final reality check of the idea and whether you allow it to manifest. Root chakra is the place where the idea is finally born into the physical world. Yet even here the idea can still be stopped. 
root chakra connects us to humanity and to our nation. Here lie the beliefs of the humanity and your nation and ethnicity. These beliefs are unconscious and hard to detect. They embrace also the beliefs of our parents, relatives, descendants and so forth. This chakra is where our survival needs lie, our sense of belonging to our family, nation and ethnicity. If this chakra is open, the creative energy flows without obstruction, so we feel secure and confident and easily give birth to ideas. When this chakra is blocked, we feel anxious and worry about our creative idea and thus dissipate its energy through fear and worry. This idea birthing process through chakras should make it clearer where your blocks are which prevent you from manifesting your idea. If you discovered that you're blocked in some chakras, check the links below this video to find out how to balance your chakras. There are many other ways to balance chakras besides the ones that I'm mentioning in the links below, including visualizing them spinning clockwise and being perfectly round bright balls of colors associated with them, like shown in the image at the beginning of the original post about this idea manifestation process, which you will also find the link to below this video.